Well, Tristan, I hope that whatever was causing a stir in the bush in South Africa reveals itself. It'd be quite nice to, if we all have cats this afternoon. But finally, we've arrived at the Ngama Pride. Look at that little one grabbing hold of the sibling's tail. Now, at the moment, we've just we've got a, you know, a carpet of cats, as you can, of course, see. And it's, all, it's just the youngsters that are here. So all the little ones of various ages are all just starting to wake up. You can see them big yawns. And then, of course, rolling around and tackling one another every now and then. And it's quite nice. The adults, I haven't quite found them just yet. I did see one, but we'll have a look at them in a little bit when these little ones start playing about. Um, and they are looking in the direction of those ear lantern zebra, uh, closer to the escarpment. So that's quite promising. But for now, I'm excited to have some little ones playing around. I don't know when I last saw or actually spend time with young lion cubs playing. It's, it's one of the most amazing things to see. And if you are fortunate to ever come on a safari, I hope that the areas that you go to are filled with lots and lots of uh, little lions, just like the ones that we're looking at right now. You know, when they're sleeping, they're not much joy to watch, but they're so feisty, especially the way the older cubs gang up on the younger ones. Look at that, that little one there is super, super feisty. Oh, you've bitten off a bit more than you can chew. You better get out of there very, very quickly, little lion. Otherwise, otherwise you are going to get beaten up. But they won't hurt each other. I mean, I'm sure those teeth are very sharp and the claws are sharp. And it must hurt to an extent. And all of you who have had puppies and kittens know what it's like when they play with you. But they are tough. They're not going to kill one another. So it's all in good sport. And it's, it's very important. And I mean, look at that little one on the right. It keeps going back for more. So it can't not be enjoying itself now if uh, this is your first time watching safari live welcome remember this is live this is interactive yes getting grumpy now see didn't like that got too rough and they will they'll vocalize they'll growl and hiss sorry so what i was going to tell you is to hashtag safari live any of the questions that you have little one yes play with one your own size you'll have a better chance now paula you're wondering how old are all these cubs there are a variety of different ages here at the moment so the the, the smaller ones i reckon are only about four months old four five months old maybe a little bit more than that give or take and uh, there are then there's some slightly older ones that must be about six months and then the taller ones that are causing all the trouble this afternoon uh there's t they look like they were, there's two i've seen two older boys and they must be just over a year or so but I would say between four months and a year and a half I don't know if all you know how many are from each female there's one lioness that's got I think it's is it three little ones the three smallest ones or the four smallest ones um, belong to one of the feet well, obviously one of the females and then the rest I'm not certain but of course you can just sort of group them in ages there <laughs> Look at that white belly he stands out though. So we know that their coloration and all those spots help with camouflage. But as soon as they roll over, especially against the green grass, they really do stand out like a sore thumb. Oh, careful. <laughs> oh, that little one's fighting back, isn't it? It's actually giving his older sibling a run for his money. Now, Paula, you said you love it when they play like this. You, you uh, Not Paula, was it Snazzy? <laughs> <laughs> I may have just mixed up names and questions all of a sudden. I'm, I'm, I'm not so sure. I'm so sorry, Megan. Can I have that whole thing again? Let me try this. Let me try this for a second time. So it was from Snazzy, not Paula. Paula was asking lots and lots of questions this morning. I think I've got Paula on the brain. Sorry about that, Snazzy. Uh, it is. It's. It really is entertaining to watch. So now they've all just stopped. What are, what are they looking at? Uh, they've spotted another, another cub that I think is using the luxury facilities just in in the bushes there and that's what they turn their attention to and there's some of the adults as well you can see just laying behind that young cub that is in the squatting position that looks like one of the lionesses and I suppose lucky for them this afternoon uh, that they are away from the from the kids or at least just lying off to the edge because next once they have woken up they're going to start climbing on the adults and start demanding food and they need to eat. I think I think they're going to go after something tonight. Well, at least they're going to they're going to try. Oh, can also just start to hear the white-browed kookles calling. There's lots of guinea fowl. 
also alarming in the distance. There were a few that were quite close by here, so I wonder if they hadn't seen the lions and now that all is just being passed on. Space Chief, you're wondering how long does it take for uh, sort of signs of a mane to develop on a, on a young male lion? Um, well, let's have a look. That's fine. There's a couple of young males in here. Actually, you know what was a good example, uh, Craig, was that, oh, uh, well, there we go, the one on the left, top left, you can just start to see the sort of mohawk on top of his head. Do you see that? And it almost looks like he's got a very hairy chin. So. The mane normally starts to grow on the chest first, and then it goes around, and they get a little mohawk. And you can normally start to see that uh, from about eight, nine months old. You know, if you look very closely and, and to the well-trained eye, you could probably pick it up a bit earlier. Uh, but now you can look at these boys. You can see that mane is just starting to develop quite clearly now. They, those two are naughty. They've gotten to the point now where they're going to start, where they have started stalking cars. They are really troublesome. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, all using the luxury facilities now. That we're going to get up and move about. One young lass deciding whether she's going to sharpen her claws or not. Yes, that's a nice tree. And it's important that they do that as well. Uh, when they stretch up and scratch on trees. Not just because they're trying to be destructive. Obviously, cats at home do it to your curtains and your couches, which we don't enjoy, but they have to. It helps strengthen the very um, important tendons that they have in their feet, and it also helps sharpen their claws and get rid of the old nail sheath. So they need to do it on a regular basis. Well, we're going to sit here for, I think, quite some time, see what the adults get up to. Hopefully they wake up and we'll watch these little ones play. Tristan has managed to navigate around and find a better view of the grey giants.